Hi, this is Alan Binder again. Uh, today I'd like to talk to you about some of the failings of NASA. As you know from my first video on the decline of NASA, NASA has become worse and worse and a failing agency since the end of Apollo. Uh, there are unfortunately too many examples of how badly NASA manages the American space program and I'd just like to go through a few of these. I'd also like to point out that I discuss some of these issues uh, in my book on Lunar Prospector because some of these things happen during the mission and, and I have them in there as part of the history. And then secondly, when I wrote Moonquake, the science fiction story, I used many of these examples in terms of discussions that the characters are having uh, in their evaluation of NASA and the program that they were doing. But NASA, uh, in the beginning of course, as I mentioned in the first video on the decline of NASA, uh, did a great job doing Apollo. Uh, there are mistakes made, of course, but that's, you can't help that. This is a difficult business. But since then, uh, as NASA grew worse and worse, things have devolved to the point where th ridiculous things happen. For example, uh, the Hubble telescope, which everyone knows has been a great success, but many of you may have forgotten that when it was launched, the optics were wrong. And what happened was as follows. The primary mirror was made to be the most accurately figured mirror that anyone has ever done. It was exquisite. It, it was just perfect. The problem was it was figured wrong and the reason was as follows. The testing equipment that was used is called a null tester and there were two versions of this. One was an all reflecting using uh, mirrors and the second one was a refracting one using little lenses. Well unfortunately the two uh, pieces of equipment gave different results but the engineers decided that the uh, the all-reflecting one was more accurate for some strange reason and ignored the results from the uh, uh, refracting one. The problem was when the person set up the reflecting one, they set it up wrong. And even though they made these exquisite measurements, they were all biased. It turned out that the uh, re refracting uh, null instrument was correct. So when the spacecraft was launched, when the Hubble was launched, it had uh, an error in its optics which had to be then corrected for a lot of money. Now this is bad enough that this kind of error occurred, but it is, I had been told, I worked at Lockheed as, as you know from my other videos, uh, that the people who made the mirror actually knew it was wrong. And I don't know if this is true or not, so I will not vouch for this. But the point is there were two mirrors made, the primary mirror by the primary company and a secondary backup mirror. And the company that made the primary mirror did not want to use the backup mirror. They wanted their mirror going up. Now that's bad enough, but then NASA comes into the uh, game in the sense that right across the hallway from where these mirrors were made uh, is where the Air Force has its big telescopes where spy telescopes are made. And NASA, who hates the Air Force and vice versa, would not use the equipment that the Air Force had to do a complete all-up test of the Hubble optics. Had they simply done that, they would have found that the mirror, both their two mirrors, of course, in the Hubble telescope, the primary mirror and the secondary mirror, they would have found out that the primary mirror was incorrectly figured. And that whole issue would have gone away. But NASA's arrogance of not working with the Air Force inhibited them from doing that. So that's one example. Another example is the uh, Mars mission, which uh, was Mars Observer, and that was launched, I believe, in about 96, but I'm not certain of that date. Uh, this was a, a very expensive mission, about a billion dollars, and on its way to Mars, uh, everything was going well until they were getting ready to go into orbit around Mars. Well, the original plan uh, was to pressurize the fuel lines right after launch. But the engineers decided after launch, well, why don't we wait until just before we do the uh, insertion burn? And that would be, for some strange reason, a better solution to whatever they were concerned with. Well, when they turned the radio off, uh, which they had to do before the burn because there were explosive bolts which had to be fired and that would uh, harm the radio. So that was turned off for this part of the maneuver. And of course, uh, everything was supposed to go automatic for the burn. Well, they never heard of the spacecraft after that. And what they decided was the problem was that because the uh, lines were not pressurized uh, at the beginning of the mission, uh, the valves had leaked 
fuel into the lines and when the lines were pressurized, the fuel and the oxidizer mixed and blew up the lines and blew up the spacecraft. Now you can say, okay, well that's too bad, but the problem was the valves they had were only valid for a short time in space. They were not valid uh, or verified for long duration in a vacuum. So again, bad engineering. Uh, another example are the two uh, Mars 99 missions, both of which failed. The first one failed when uh, uh, Martin Marietta, actually Lockheed Martin now because those companies merged, uh, did the trajectory using the English units, feet per second. And NASA was using the metric system and they were supposed to uh, meters per second, etc., in their computations. Well, neither side knew what the other side was doing. So the, all the data which was used up until the uh, time to go into orbit uh, was done by Lockheed Martin. And NASA simply did not know that they were getting different results because they were using a different system. So when it came time for the burn uh, to put the spacecraft into orbit around Mars, the spacecraft was about 20 or 30 kilometers low. That is, it entered the Martian atmosphere and burned up instead of being able to do a, a burn. Well, a couple of months later, uh, the uh, Mars Polar Lander was supposed to go in. And uh, it had not been tested properly. Uh, and since I'm running out of time right now, I think I will stop this particular uh, story and start it on another video. Thank you.